Hi, this is Magenta Pixie speaking. And I'm going to continue the analysis of my most recent channeled video, Blue Star Solstice 2016 Memory Complex Codes, Royal Houses of Sirius, Pleiades and Lyra. So in the last video, I got up to the point where the nine were saying, it is at these times that you are a direct source incarnation. So I talked about what a direct source incarnation is, the perspective of that. And your memory complex system, so this is you as an individualized soul, holding memory that is retained so that you become an individualized aspect of consciousness or an individualized perspective from that point of view, um, individualized from the oneness or the source perspective whilst simultaneously being part of it. Your memory complex system stands at the central sun galactic level. This we would refer to as the platinum ray. Um, somebody did write a comment actually saying that the central sun is also the galactic core, a black hole. Um, the nine have spoken to me about this, the central sun being a portal, a stargate to move you into this universe. So on a physical level, if it were to be analysed, it would be presented as um, what we know as a black hole. The nine, the nine tell me that the universe at large is um, full of these portals that present as black holes. Um, but the way they refer to this is the central sun because it is actually uh, a sun, although it doesn't look the same as the sun that we look at, this large sun that gives us heat. Um, it's like uh, the opposite. So there's like a, a sun, and when you move through that sun, we see a black hole but it's a stargate and our sun is also a stargate, a portal through this universe for different, um, different pathways. It's almost like the universe is this, this byway or, or, or bypass of um, um, how we would perceive roads and transport systems. Um, so if you if you were to imagine that we had you know those futuristic films where you see um, like rails above the above us and there's like trams and cars, it's almost as though the universe is a series of 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 tramways or railways transporting all these different um, transportation devices to different places. So when we got we when we get on a train. We buy a ticket and we can go anywhere in, in, in our country, wherever the railway takes us. Um, when it comes to the universe, it's like a transportation system. It's like um, a map or roadways and you need to use a different portal to get to different points. This is all quite new information for me and I haven't processed all of this. Um, so when the nine say this, we would refer to as the platinum ray. What they're actually communicating about here is the, um, the higher awareness and the higher memory that we hold is directly in alignment with certain rays, which we perceive as uh, vibrations. These can come in um, to our awareness as color, a mathematical system, sound, and one of the ways we perceive that this is through uh, a frequency that we might perceive as color. So the platinum ray is the awareness of the galactic level, the central sun, and the, the tuning in to what that means. Because when I say there's this universe of these different pathways, what this also is, is us. It's our higher brain, if you like if we were to look at what's actually going on in our brain, it's identical to the universe. So these stargates are, on the one hand, you can interpret this as physical transportation through the cosmos, through the universe. And on the other hand, it's transportation through the different pathways within our brain. So this is transportation of consciousness we match the cosmos, we match the universe. So uh, this is the platinum ray. This is the central sun galactic level of awareness. 
and we will feel when this happens to us we will feel at one with the entire system of the universe and the planetary system we can liken aspects of ourselves maybe physical aspects physical organs in our body or thoughts um, and experiences we have we marry all this up with a match within the universe we can become aware of the different planetary systems that are influencing us we can become aware of the um, the sun and the way that the sun uh, moves and we can become aware of the different energies within the cosmos and within our earth what actually happens to us at this level is the processing of all this takes place after the input of the information which is why as i was saying in the previous video it can be really confusing for people at this moment because we're getting the input coming in so we're thinking this part of my brain mirrors that part of the universe and i feel connected to the sun and to the pleiades and i'm not quite sure about the moon and how does this relate to what happened to me yesterday when i bumped into someone i haven't seen for 20 years everything maps up together in this synchronistic network and it's so unbelievable when it happens it's so magical that unless we are aware of this as a normal and in inverted commas thing to happen unless we are grounded within our reality we can be really quite freaked out confused we think we're going crazy which is why um people who are spiritual healers channelers psychics who are working at this level are in so much demand at the moment and that doesn't just mean me that means you and every single person that's listening because you don't have to be working as a channel and releasing videos and writing books you could be following a normal uh, you know normal third dimensional career but when you take this way of thinking the minute you start to process anything in an aligned understanding you start to draw others into your life who need that information so you could be say a plumber but you've started to wake up you've started to process some of this information that's happening to you you will bet that your client your next client or one of the other builder builders on the site that you're working on someone somewhere will come to you make a statement have a question have a query have a problem and you will have the answer for them and it's this huge network and if you look down upon this entire dimension taking the overview as if you were a light being look down energetically and um with your with your pineal gland with your inner eyes with your imagination if you like look down and see the way that this works it's a miracle it's absolutely unbelievable how in sync it is so we sort of down here if you like in the third dimension are seeing chaos we're seeing a model there is no rhyme or reason there are no whys or wherefores to why we are in this reality if we look from the third dimension only at the third dimension we can never fathom it out and then we take the overview and we look down through these dimensions and we see this perfect symphony that everything is occurring as it should be however we can take the other viewpoint and think well everything's occurring as it should be that means i don't need to do anything everything is perfect and it will all play out when it when it plays out that bypasses the action that needs to be taken within the third dimension so we have to take the third dimensional view as well of this is chaos this is um you know pandemonium uh this this needs clearing this needs to shift and i need to do my part so we have to take all these viewpoints so the next part of this channeling when the platinum ray is called within you through the knowings of the memory complex that is all that is you you hold awareness of all incarnations as all and every being and can stand within the truth of a direct source incarnation so the platinum ray as i was saying about this awareness within the brain if you liken the brain to a match to the universe where there are many many byways or pathways so the universe is a byways for transportation systems 
ships and light ships and and um, time traveling devices moving in and out of all these different streams and we've got this mirrored match going on within the brain this is the platinum ray called within us now this may this calling may appear in many different ways. We, we literally may hear the words platinum ray. We may know we're part of the platinum ray. We may see the platinum ray. We may be called by the violet light or a silver ray. It may be something completely different. We may be told we're part of the 144 or we may have this royal activation or all of this at the same time. Or we may simply feel that we're merging with stars or merging with planets. There are so many different ways that the platinum ray is called within you. So that's a metaphor for the awareness of these multiple byways or pathways within the brain. When the platinum ray is called within you through the knowings of the memory complex, the memory complex being a soul, a journey within a matrix that has retained memory in an individualized sense. That is all that is you. So all that is you is you as source and all the memory on an individualized level that you hold within this memory complex, as well as any other experience that source has had. That is all that is you. Multifaceted, very uh, complex. You hold awareness of all incarnations as all and every being. So you hold the awareness that you are everyone and everything and every incarnation throughout Earth and on every other planetary system throughout the entire multiverse and beyond. You hold awareness of all incarnations as all and every being. So you are all things. You can stand within the truth of a direct source incarnation because when you hold awareness of all and every being and memory of incarnations of all and every being then on the one hand you know that you are all things individually and on the other hand you know that you are a sea of oneness if you like one moment one thought therefore you can take the perspective of coming into an incarnation within the third dimension on earth today living in 2016 2017 you can take that awareness, be aware that you are all and every incarnation, bypass the memory of all and every incarnation and come in from direct source. And somebody else did comment on one of my videos saying, I'm a direct source incarnation and I've always known this. So the memory that they are taking, the memory that they need, if you like, for the, the mission that they're going to um, fulfill within this reality within this incarnation is the memory of being direct source others will need memories of when they were in in, in world war ii or when they were um, a fisherman or when they were a pleiadian what's actually happening to us now in this time period so i'm talking about 2016 coming towards the end of 2016 leading up to the winter solstice 21st of december 2016 moving into 2017 and that first chunk of 2017 up to the spring equinox and then there's another shift and we're moving into another direction then um but it's an ongoing movement always there is no end point to this the spring equinox is simply another doorway another portal into another stage What's happening here is it's almost as though we're turning on all the pathways. So when you move into an awareness of enlightenment or ascension, you may have one, two, three, or multi-pathways. The platinum ray is an expansion of those pathways and an expansion of the connection into the universe, the cosmos, and all the byways and, and what all that means there. So this universal brain and our own human brain merging together. This is what's happening to us right now. It's, I'm told from the nine, it is a, it's more of a multi-stream of memory held within a human incarnated physical vehicle than has ever occurred before 
in a group scenario at this level on this planet. That's why it's so different and so fascinating for all these beings that are connected with Earth and all these beings that want to incarnate on Earth. Because what's happened in the past is, yes, enlightenment has occurred. The platinum ray has been called by individuals or small groups or, you know, larger groups. But this is en masse. This, this energy is flooding the entire planet. So we've got this multi-streamed awareness. And what we're being given here are these different perspectives of who we are, which is why I had somebody write on my um, YouTube channel, I am a direct source incarnation. That is correct. That person may stay with the memory that they're a direct inc incarnation and just hold that one stream. That one stream gives that person everything. They don't need anything beyond that. Other individuals may want to individualize through that awareness. So they may feel, I have this past life and this past life on this, on this planet, and I have these past lives on other planetary systems, but I'm also a direct source incarnation. We are being given every perspective for all perspectives are valid to us for we are all and everything. However, we have to do this within integration. So there is a, um, a thought process that has occurred within enlightenment many times throughout our history as a planet whereby individuals have thought, I am this person and I am that person. And it's coming from simply a knowing of being all without integrated memory therefore you can be a memory complex a memory complex system hold the knowing of being all and everything without integrating the memory within the memory complex actually holding the memory within the soul's linear journey so you are actually we are actually becoming absolutely linear and absolutely non-linear simultaneously and the more non-linear we become the more linear we become the more linear we become the more non-linear we become so we are anchoring down and expanding up and the more anchoring down into the linear memory the more expansion into the non-linear this is also the same thing as matter and antimatter so the more we anchor into the linear we are we are becoming aware on a memory level of matter and what matter is. And the more we anchor there, the more we expand into antimatter. It's this flip. It's the same thing as the, cent as the sun, the central sun, being a sun on one side and a black hole on the other. Warm and cold. Life and death um, in, its, in its meaning of um a doorway that's what death means it's a doorway from one stage to another it is never an ending it's only an ending with a simultaneous beginning so all of these thoughts are coming to us all we will all be having these thoughts right now and the most important um tip i can give you here really is no you're not going crazy but it's okay to think to yourself i'm going crazy it's it's okay I remember one spiritual teacher saying to me, let yourself go crazy. It's okay, because as long as you are grounded in this reality, within the linear anchoring, within the matter, then you will be fine within this expansion that occurs. So if you, if you feel like you're losing it, and you, know, you are flipping into worry, fear, anxiety, um, you know, darker emotions, uh, you know, you're having thoughts that aren't making sense here, pull back um, into the linear. So do something really third dimensional. When I got used to get like this a couple of two, three years ago, I'd go into such a state of expansion with all these concepts I couldn't hold. I needed to anchor down. I would go off out and buy magazines and start reading about celebrities and, you know, all the um, tabloid trashy stories that are so meaningless and hilarious to aware individuals. I'd go and read them just to put my perspective into 
the linear third dimensional thinker to just anchor myself back down. It's not particularly the best way to ground yourself, really. There are other ways. You can watch films, make sure the film is set in the real world, um, eat um, a, a meal with uh, plenty of foods that grow under the ground. So um, root vegetables, um, sweet potatoes are good. Um, there are many, many grounding techniques, and I've got a video on my channel um, connecting to the human tribe um, that will teach about grounding. And there are many teachers teaching about grounding. I recently did an interview for a forum of reality. And if you type in Google, a forum of reality, Magenta Pixie, um, the importance of being grounded. I, I talk a lot about this in that interview as well, if you're interested. So that will hold you that's your anchor it's like imagine you're a boat you've got no anchor and you're just drifting around at sea or in a river and you don't know where you're going the anchor pulls you into one place so that you can fix in that one place and then get your bearings if you like to use the sort of boat um sea travel metaphor so um so that's the end of this video. I'm going to carry on uh, with another video talking about um, continuing with the um, channeling from this, from this um, video that I did and, um, and analyzing this as much as I can. So I will speak to you again soon. Thank you for listening. Bye. What is the matrix? Who are the masters? I, Magenta Pixie, I'm so very pleased to present my first book, channeled from my guidance system that I refer to as the white-winged collective consciousness of nine. Discover the true story of our origins as an energy system, how we lost the original template for our destiny, and how we are now in the process of remembering those lost codes. Learn how humanity may reclaim the sovereignty which is rightfully ours, bringing us back into wholeness, integration, and full understanding of who we are, what we are, why we are here, and what we are here to do. Spirituality, metaphysics, and science merge as the sacred geometry, known as the language of light, is downloaded and decoded. The realization and activation of these ancient codes for a new dawn of man is an alchemical process available to us all. Now is the time that collectively we move forward into a fully conscious ascension and embrace the new archetype of Master of the Matrix.